Hello there. It's that dude again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the morning of day 16 in this Age of Oblivion mod in seven days. Let's get started. I have some quests that I want to complete in front of you guys. Some of these are very simple. Uh, we did turn our regular arrow ammo into crossbow. Crossbow. Uh, ammo and so that is very exciting so let me see here i need to make a um so these are all the smokers right uh all the ovens Wait, let's start from the bottom so okay so we already created that we created that i need a decoration bench i don't have one right and it takes all of this stuff and it doesn't take that much to craft it's actually instant let's go in here and then in this room, I made a couple changes. Ta-da! Uh, let's see if I can put you here. Put you all the way... Oh, shoot. Right there. Alright, so that gave us... We got some... Two blue coins. Two of these. Which gives us uh, more of uh, these... AO quests uh, points. So it's going to put us... When we read them, it's going to put us at 26 out of 80... Which will, we need four more to get a tier three quest. And I think that's the one with the clowns. I want to open the ones with the clowns, the clowns, the clowns. Yeah, killer clowns and the amusement park. Um, so since I did so well <laughs> in the arena, the clowns one's actually easy. It's just basically you have to kill 50 clowns throughout the game. So during Horde Night is when you get most clowns. But when you kill a simple clown on the street, it counts as one. Uh, so that, so that blue coin these two blue coins are going to give us two more all right and then let's see what other quests do i have here okay we need a butcher table and then ovens crafting all ovens variant block okay butcher table and ovens butcher table uh we can't craft it because i don't have stone oh stone's been a problem uh let me go grab some stone i know where i can find some stone be right back all right, I just realized I went to that little stone spot. It's not that far, but it's not close by. And we have stone downstairs in that one cave. It's not a lot. It takes longer, actually. So I think I made the right call there. All right, so let's go ahead and craft you up. It's 36 seconds. And then the other thing is says ovens. Any type of oven block. So, yeah, so it's this one. It's all ovens. I guess uh, this one, we can go ahead and craft that as well. That also takes 36 seconds. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for this stuff, though. Uh, I know I created a room here. I kind of want to keep this here. This still gives it that firehouse look. And then these steps right here, I don't know. I might just block this off. My The exit I use is this one over here. But I like having multiple exits. Uh, but I also have the one over here by the by the plants. There's an exit right there as well. Uh, so while those things are um, finishing up, these tables, uh, let me just see what I have. Okay, this is the this is the gardening table. So we have that done. All right. So let's go ahead and pick you up and see how big you are. I don't have a lot of bandages, and we do need to make more. Um, I do want to get out and uh, create more uh, quests. I think I want to go see Jen and, and get some work done for Jenny Jen. I can get rid of this. I mean, I kind of like it, um, but I can get rid of that to make more room. So we'll just see how big these tables are. All right, cool. So they're all done. You don't get credit until you actually put them down. So this one's... You see, this one is pretty big. And this one... Is, ooh, this one's huge. Okay. Whoa! Okay, not only is that huge, that looks scary. Oh my gosh, okay, so we'll put this little guy right here. Okay, there you go. We got two more, and then we got two chicken soups. And then this guy, uh, where do I put you? Where do I put you? I mean, I can technically, wait. I don't think I can put you here. It's one of these where I can put him up on top, but I got to remember that he's up here. It's a good spot, it's a good spot as any. I think I can move him later, right? As long as we put them down. Yeah, it's one of those things where I, I, I'm not going to be able to put everything inside the... There you go. All right, so we got we have a total of four now. This is why I wanted to do this. Uh, let me go ahead and read these. And now we should be able to create that clown quest, uh, which is important to me, to us, so that we don't die. I mean, so that we can get that done. 
because I know that gives us rewards, and that's a uh, that's one of those challenges where you it's you basically um it, you don't have to do anything outside of killing clowns whenever you see them to complete it. So uh, we'll go in here, and where is my clown quest? Clown quest. I passed it. Probably passed it. Oh, here it is. Kill the clowns. All right. So let's go ahead and craft you up. Uh, what else did I open up with that quest? Let me see here. Not quest with this tier. Uh, quests. So tier three. So it's the, oh the amusement park. I mean, I'll I'll create it, but I don't know if we can. I don't know if we just have to ride ride the the find the amusement park or actually ride the roller coaster. One of those two. So. Let me go ahead and read that. Yes, I accept the challenge. It says right here, get out, get out there and tweezer 50 wings. So 50, 50 clowns. Sounds like fun. Uh, let's go ahead and go ahead, get open this up. Accept. It says, would you like to start? Okay, so it's a quest. Yeah, I need to be careful with that because I'm not doing too hot with quests right now. Uh, but let's put you here. Let's put you here. Where did I, what's replace my, oh, the, yeah, we'll keep the hammer here. We don't. I needed the hammer last night to work on the, on the little um, base extension that we made. So as you can see, even this whole entire room can't support some of the, some of the these benches from this um. This mod, which is exciting, right? All right. Uh oh, and then the other thing I did have, I don't want you guys to think I'm adding items to my game. Um, we do have these right here. I collected these in the previous episode. There were five of them. Uh, remember I said I got 500 just out of this box It's 762 ammo. So I just opened up 200 just to have some uh, to get us through the day. But I left three here because this is like a high HP uh, ammo. And I don't want to use it on just regular, you know, POIs, regular quests. But we're kind of desperate because we don't have any, we don't have any ammo right now. Uh, and I did make some gunpowder and bullets and all that stuff see it's right here i'm glad i remember to show you guys and then so i can just kind of throw it in here and then go here and see how much of it can be turned into 762 ammo but we need to get some 762 ammo okay so we're gonna have about 370 which is awesome and i can't do bulk ammo yet right i think i'm like far from that yeah how do i unlock this the sniper we have to complete the sniper quest whatever that is but um it's okay we're we're too early in the game to be worrying about bulk. but we'll create 370 and take 12 minutes when we come back we'll have 370 762 ammo uh all right uh i'm gonna go down to jen let me show you where that is uh she's kind of far but i, I think we're gonna be on tier two um quests for her and we might be able to complete all whatever she has available today so I'll see you very shortly. Ah, here's a clown. Just what we needed. It'd be one of 50. And here's another. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Jenny Jen! Alright, let's pick a job first. Yeah, so it is buried two. I'm buried two. It is um tier two, but um we only have two like actual quests. The other ones are buried supplies, which are not the worst. And then we have a restore power. Uh alright, let's start with the furthest clear zombies. I think I've got a job or two. The Jensen residence. Protection payment coming up Do soon. you have any ammo? I think you reset yesterday. But I wasn't down here. Um, I'll take the casings. Yes, please. Uh, the gunpowder, always. All right, and she doesn't have... Um... I'll take these, though, knife guys. She doesn't have any um, ammo for us, so that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. All right. Now that was a good deal. Tell me about it. Um... Trust me. I'm a doctor. All right, let's get out there, complete these quests best as possible. All 
right i did promise one of the faithful viewers uh that i was gonna put a point into let me see i know i have a lot of points uh which is embarrassing salvaging oh i have um i have six points and i already have a point into salvaging salv salvage operations and i guess with the point in this you get a bunch of wait let's search it first a bunch of iron and steel from um i'll just take this i don't want any of this from wrenching these trash bins these dumpsters and i feel that it's true i mean it's worth it look at all the the iron we're getting and the steel iron as well um but you gotta have savage points uh too and then when you start getting these other items that's when you know this thing's almost out of juice out of health i should say so yeah if you're in need of these items um wrench them down but make sure you have at least one point into salvage operations look at that we got 33 34 35 that's a lot that's a lot for a little dumpster honestly that's that's a lot and you can use your actual iron to smelt other stuff so thanks for the tip and we are at a gas but we do have gas in our person cool all right and this is this is the poi uh i think the freaking yeah, just my luck. The mailbox is up front. And handgun magazine, machine gunner. All right, and I know we can double loot this little storage area here. Yeah, it's got a, a, a destroyed workbench and then the stiff, stiff working tools. Nice. One shot in these boxes is just so cool. Uh, Forge Ahead magazine. Let's go ahead and read these two books that we purchased uh, from Jenny Jen. I don't need you to be in my critical inventory slots, right? Uh, saved inventory slots. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start it and we'll get to loot that again. Scrapping for fun and some cobblestone rocks. All right. We're going to try to do as much stealth as possible uh, because it's more fun that way. And uh, obviously we don't use up our, the little ammo that we do have. Now this right here, this is a trap. That stuff explodes. If you, I think if you get close too fast and someone comes out, you explode with them. So let's see if we can beat them to it. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. But we do have our little fire solution here. Oh, I see. I almost walked up and got that one. But I can't remember if I've already read that book. You guys be so kind to remind me. If I read that book where um, if I walk over landmines i don't actually detonate them and i think if you go that way it's a shortcut but i don't want to do the shortcut let's just go the the traditional way here which is down here i think we woke everyone up so no potential for sneak shots but we can still get some damage so that when we go down there it's not ah Oh, and there's our drop, which is good. Let's do it with the knife, the machete. See, I keep calling it a knife. It's not a knife. Hmm. Hmm. Here's Tom Clark. There goes Tom Clark. What's up, big mama? I'm all sugar. I don't know why I thought about Elvis when I said big mama. But I did. If you're too young to know who Elvis is, just Google him. Oh, we got some more smart glasses. They're all the same, but you got some paint on ya. We could sell you. Just save the paint. Save the paint, save the world. Oh no, never mind. So this is how... So when we kill these guys that were in this room, and then this is... It's not really a shortcut. You just come down here and you would go this way. Maybe you can get the beat on them. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever gone that way. What is this? Oh yeah, there's a little baggie here to the left. Way over there. Sometimes it's the baggie, sometimes it's actually the satchel. And we're gonna have to come down here and fight, right? Anybody? Nobody? A little disappointed in the amount of zombies. Oh, I still can't one shoot the couch. It's horrible. Oh, I thought we were going to have some sneak shot possibilities. All right, no ferals. We can machete them. 
Oh, loot bag. Let's go. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mutant fighter. Oh, Mr. Mutant fighter. Me, my machete blade. My dude. You came in here. You broke windows. You were on a mission. And I stopped your mission. With this little sharp tool. I don't apologize for that. Right, whenever you get in a situation where there's a door that's locked, one that's open, yeah, you wanna close that one up, clear the room, and this is common sense, it has nothing to do with the game. <laughs> and then once this guy makes a little hole here, we can just grab a little pistol, get a shot or two, and see someone's already making noise there, see, if we would've left that on, uh, opened up, We would have gotten um, blindsided. All right, and we already have the yellow notification, so that means we're close to to the end. But right, these guys, you can sneak into. You just have to be very strategic about it. You see his head right there. But unfortunately, everybody else woke up. Don't know why. Don't know how. All right, and as long as you don't have ferals, you can. I do power shots with the machete, but pharaohs are, um, obviously they run at you and they're not easy. You don't kill them as easily as you do a regular zombie, like just stayed right there. But just make sure they're not running at you and you can preserve ammo and just kill them with the machete. As long as you have enough points on it, obviously. And yeah, we're done. Return to trader. Let's just pick up the goods. Uh, medical journal. Let's read that. Some other goods. This is the main loot. Uh, Night Stalker. Do 10% more sneak damage at night. We'll go ahead and read that. We can scrap this. We got some ammo. And some some sham chowd. Uh, let's go ahead and break these. And then don't forget about the green weapon bag. Something great, please. Eh, handgun magazine. I'll take that. Some casings. Yeah, we need casings, right? We need casings. Speaking of handgun magazines, go ahead and read these magazines. Uh, Rifle World and Magazine and Knife Guy. Can I repair this? Yes. Can I scrap this? Yes. Scrap this? Yes. All right. Very cool. Tier 2. Done. Double loot the mailbox. Ooh, treasure, Wa Wasteland Treasures, Volume 6, a uh, guy can never know, oh, this is how to create bandages out of cloth, alright, that's a good one, actually, because we, we, we're low on bandages, we only have 7, I'm used to having, like, 49, 50, but I guess that's later in the game, so, that's quite alright, I think we left our bike over here, yeah, here it is, alright, let's go see Jen, oh, a clown, I'm in the clown hunting business. And baby, business is booming. If you can guess that movie, you are okay in my book. It doesn't say clowns. It uses a different word, which I don't think I can use in, on YouTube. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Congratulations. Jenny, I've seen you a thousand times. I You're still introducing yourself to me. Interesting. All right. Uh, here's a tough choice. Um, we do have a ro robotic sledge. I think I called it a robotic turret in the previous episode. Um, we do have a robotic sledge. I think he's level three as well. I'm going to grab the magazine bundle and let's go ahead and take that other clear zombie. Would... Thanks, son. Joey's whatever. Down. I try not to, Jen. I'm a pleaser. What can I say? All right. We got two wiring magazines, scrapping for fun, forge ahead. And armored up. We, oh, we can create a ratchet. I'm over here complaining about my little level one um, wrench. And we can create a ratchet. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, very cool, guys. We're here. Let me... I want to pre-loot these vehicles because I need more blue. Well, I have 20 blue keys. I don't think... I'm not finding as many um, Age of Oblivion vehicles as I like. Why is that? Clown running. I don't like that. 
It's an ugly clown and he's running. Don't like that at all. Oh, uh, here's another freaking magazine vending machine. I don't know how you work. If you guys, if you guys know how that works and you're in the comments, please feel free to leave a comment on how that works. I still have those other magazines that I left several episodes ago and I haven't, I purposely haven't gone in and checked. Not yet. I will, but not yet. Um, cause I want to give that thing like as many days as possible without losing my mind. And so maybe tomorrow's episode I'll check because I don't know if we'll go home tonight. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. Tier 2. Clear zombies. Let's see if we can get away with uh, just using our good old, good old Shetty. Alright, sounds like we triggered our boy here, uh, Joey. Oh, seven skill points. Okay, I gotta use some of these points, guys. I'm sorry. I just been I've been so focused on the AOE and staying alive. I I need a. I need, we need to use our points. Obviously, that's gonna help us. Sneak shot. All right, where the vultures at? I know there's a vulture here somewhere, or three, or eight. So that's locked. We came in through that. Yeah, you go here and this puts you on the other side of that fence. And I know that there has to be a dog here, right? Let's just go ahead and put this guy. Cue him up. Yep. Oh, shoot. You came in. Faster than I thought. As soon as I jumped out, down from that ladder, you were on my neck. Scrap you for fun, two of you. Let's go ahead and read this knife guy, home cooking, medical. Oh, and then we got one of these. I don't know where I'm going to use those yet. Let's carry on. I see footsies, but they're awake. Okay. This, is that someone over there? Yeah, there's someone way over there, I think. No, that's trash. That's trash. You can't be the only one here, Mr. Janitor. I'm sorry you didn't get a name. They saw a blue suit and they said, your name is Janitor. Everyone gets everyone else gets an oh no, there's the tourist. The tourist doesn't have a name. And you know what? I've never noticed if the cop had a name. Usually everyone's running for their lives when they see the cop, so nobody checks their name his name out. I need to do that. I need to check his name. I'll see if I can do that. I think I've seen it, I just don't remember what it is. But yeah, I'm trying to think of zombies that don't have a name. They're just generalized like that for janitor. You will be known as janitor. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, we have folks down here, but I can't see the folks. Where are you folks? I'm trying to get some cheap kills here, guys. But okay, are you? Is this one of those places they don't appear until you like are in freaking eye level with them? It is. All right. You guys want to play dirty? We can play dirty. Yep, there they are. See, all of a sudden. All right, let's go. The good thing about steps like this, it does take them longer to figure out how to get to you. All right, you're regular. I'm not going to use ammo. Just preserve ammo. See, this guy's name's Bo. Oh my gosh, it took three shots to hit him. And I'm standing right in between... Oh, this this one's generalized, too. She's party girl. And the biker. So you're... Actually, there's more generalized zombies than I, than I thought. This guy's just... He's just the biker. I don't know, I would, I would call this guy Bruce. Bruce sounds like a biker name, right? What are some names that you guys think of, like, when you think of a biker? Jim? I don't know. I, I don't watch enough biker shows, I guess. Sons of Anarchy, I guess, is a popular one. I never really got into that. I probably should. Sounds, I, I heard it's really good, but I don't know. Ooh, Needle and Thread. Volume 5. Uh, Leather Dusters, great. Ray, I just wanted to know. Today when I woke up, I'm like, I need to go learn how to make leather dusters in the game. Like, that was a must for me. And I achieved that, so I think I could just call it a day. Uh, let's go ahead and read Medical Journal. Ooh, we got two more of these. I wonder what we did to get two more of these. Oh, I think you get these sometimes randomly when you level up. So, obviously, you work on the AOO quest, but then when you level up, you randomly get those as well, so... Be on the lookout for that. Where are we at in terms of that now? Uh, quests. So we got 32 out of 8. Yeah, so we... 
<laughs> we need what is that 48 um we need 48 more to open up the tier 4 quest which is that's like the heavy duty stuff that's the skeleton key and all like the end game stuff so th remember the thing about um age of oblivion is there actually is a story to the game and that's that one researcher doctor guy are we done yeah return to trader um that you're supposed to find and kill speaking of finding i need to find my way out of here please guys i'm logged in all right here all right i'll meet you gents <laughs> If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Jenny Jen. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. It didn't. That's how I do it. That's how that's how I roll. Uh magazine bundle. Forge steel. Decisions, decisions. Make some magazine bundle. We've been getting four every time. And then we're gonna have to take a buried supplies, but we'll take the closest you one. Need some work? I had a good feeling about you. Let's go ahead and roll. Good luck. Check these out really quick. Two more knife guys, electrical traps, tactical warfare, and handgun magazine. All right, we need to get our dig on. So let's see here. Uh, skull crushers. Now. Oh, it's melee damage. I was just going to ask. I don't know if this works with a um, with the machete, but technically I think the machete is a melee gun. So I'm buying you. Good to have is good to have and i don't believe in eye candy eye candy is good like if you're like at 99 percent loot stage and you take that and it boosts you over 100 or 199 and boosts you over 200 that's when i believe in um sugar butts that um i'm sorry eye candy all right let me see if um if it's worth so i was gonna use these points tonight um while we're waiting but I do want to see if it's worth to get a minor 69er. You know what it is. Let's go ahead and put, oh, I need a cigar. Do I already have a cigar? I don't know, but let me see. What do you need to get to the next one? Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm going to put one into mother load as well. Since we're going to be digging, it's good to add points to those two. You need them anyways, because in this game, you have to mine. There's no way around it. You have to mine. You have to get resources from from soil from rocks stuff like that so it's um if we're going to be doing digging quests then we might as well put points invest points into that also the top soil is has more health see that's 250 but the bottom one only has well it doesn't show me because i'm one hitting it but if you ever doing one of these um focus on just getting the the top soil and then go to town on the the next level down now Stone is different. Stone is harder, obviously. So what I like to do is I like to get to the stone level and then just kind of dig around me. And then always leave yourself a way out. Because when the circle gets smaller after 10 blocks being destroyed, these guys, um, you could spawn in uh, zombies. So that's digging 101. It's the tier 2 and we haven't actually gotten a spawn from the decrease in ring level but i'll take it all right there's our first one now remember you can't get too far away from the circle or else you lose the quest like steve just lost his head i need to put more points into um into our blade weapon because i'm not i'm not one shotting as much as i'd like and there it is, right there. Let me just make sure I can get away. So as soon as you get all the, the, the goods, the, you'll definitely get a spawn of zombies. Bandol bandolier mod, a gun we can sell, a book we can sell, and then here are the supplies. Let's jump. And I want to get out of here because I do want to do the second one. Even if we fall into the night, I do want to do the, the other... Um, Berry supplies. It's a little further, but that's okay. Me wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. Do you seriously just doubt me? Uh, let's do... Oh, yeah, we're low on Molotovs. Molotovs are good. Again, open hordes. Open... Um, Not inside of POI, so we'll take those. Although I was complaining about not having enough bandages earlier. Uh, And then we'll do this last I one right here. This is to the hurry. east. I have a protection payment coming up soon. Again, this is going to bleed into the night, which is fine. I'm okay with that as long as you guys are okay with that. Oh, and then before I forget, let me go ahead and label you. So if I exit the game without picking you up, 
and we lose track of you. I think today is day 16. It is cool. This is how brave we're feeling. We're getting, uh, we're doing a quest after 10 p.m. and we're doing it in the fog. Like if that doesn't dis display courage, I don't know what does. And that guy is the guy I need to get away from. So I don't know if I should start this. Oh boy. And we have these freaking shooter dudes. <laughs> the thing is, if I don't kill that guy right now and I start the quest and he comes over here, I'm going to have a small radius to kind of run around and kill him. So I almost want to just kill him now. If I can see him, sneak shot will be good, really good. So let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Sneak shot. Let's go, baby. Stop moving. Shoot. Thank you. Oh my god, I wasn't loaded. Oh, got him. Alright, let's do this. Oh no, why did you wake up? No one's talking to you, bro. This could this could turn ugly all his evil twin brothers right here. No. And now you have this guy. Oh, two of you. What the heck? What is this? Bring your twin brother to school day? Oh, bro. oh my gosh. Alright. This little job turned into a freaking hot mess. Oh, nice shot. You guys are terrifying. Oh, I will take that orange back. Oh, that's right. Those guys are known for dropping up. Can you leave my... Oh, that's not my horse. <laughs> I want him to be my horse, but he's not my horse. Not yet. One day, one day. See, if we would have opened up the quest, I wouldn't be able to do all this. So you got to be strategic about that. Strategic, if I can say that correctly. Are you the horse feeder? You are the horse feeder. Where's my orange bag? You're a horse feeder too? Oh, you're freaking feral. Are you dead? You are dead. I'm glad the horsey doesn't attack me because I hit him a couple times. All right. It's greatness. Let's go. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's sniper rifle. I thought it was a like a handgun. All right, is this the guy I hit for life? No, it's not. This is this guy's new. He's different. He's annoying. Okay, so that's what I mean. So this gun does, this uh, AR does more damage than my AK-47. However, the hit points are kind of iffy. Uh, I have to aim a certain way to get the, the headshot. So I don't know. I might go back to my AK-47 until I can find a better um, AR for ourselves. All right, finally found our little box. See what we get. Oh, this is horrible. All right, this time I am gonna... Oh, I did it last time too. I just ran, remember? We're running again. All right, I'll meet you guys at Jen's. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Jen, Congratulations. what do you got for us? I can make my payment to the Duke now. Ah, nothing great. This is all horrible. I'm gonna sell her some stuff, so I might just get this just to sell it back. Uh, exploding arrow. If this was exploding bolt, it would be a different conversation, but, uh, let's go ahead and just grab this. This is only one level higher than mine, so it's not worth. But I did come with the in intentions of, per of selling some stuff. As you can see, I have my, my gun equipped, uh, and we're going to sell you some stuff. So let's do a little sell off. Very cool. We got 1,800 
Dukes. Uh, what can we purchase with 1800? A Dukes. What is this volume for? I figured this hack. Uh, you need water. Oh, how to purify water. Sure, you know what? We'll take it. We'll grab some gas since we're in the neighborhood. Oh, we're out of gas. Yeah, I need to purchase some gas. All right, I hope cool. you get feeling better. And that's it. I'm going to hunker up up there again. So, guys, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for staying this far. I really appreciate it. Since you made it this far, you might as well hit that like button. Um, you made that whole effort to stay with me almost an entire 40 minutes. So, thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. Please take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.